Well, it's gonna be a big night for them, truly a special moment when they run out that tunnel and see fans for the first time in the stands at Allegiant Stadium. Probably a night they'll remember for the rest of their lives, tell their grandkids about performing at Allegiant Stadium for their home opener in front of fans against their rivals. If you're going to the game tonight, tomorrow night, here's what you can expect to see at Allegiant Stadium. The 2,000 fans in attendance on Saturday night will see Allegiant Stadium light up in red on Halloween with UNLV Rebels logos circling the stadium. Fans will be sitting socially distant from each other in groups of 250 people separated by 25 feet in the 100 level of the stadium. The 200 UNLV students will be seated in the southwest corner of the stadium right at the end zone. Fans are required to wear masks masks at all time during the game and will have to complete a health screen before entering the stadium. The Rebels are excited to be the first players at Allegiant Stadium to play in front of a live audience. It's very exciting. Uh, it's a $2 billion stadium and we want to protect the name on the front and we want to protect the name on the back too and you know go out there and show uh, show out for our family that can attend to the game and stuff like that. It's a chance to have fans so I feel like it's going to be a really good game and it's going to be a great atmosphere. And whether it was going to be 65,000 fans or 1,000 fans, the Rebels are just thankful that the state and local officials let in any fans for their home games this season. Uh, frankly, sure, I'd love to have that thing sold out, but I definitely had nothing to do with the sale of, of some of the state and local decisions that were made. I, I know that they were made in the best interest of the health and safety of our student athletes first, I think, our families and everybody else, and that's really, really important. Um, I do, I'm sure, we all wish that thing was packed out and red uh, this weekend, but um, I'll also take what I can take. You're gonna find out I'm a pretty eternal optimist, Chris, so if it's a thousand, it's better than zero. So if you can't go to the game tomorrow night and you're gonna be at home on the couch watching, you can still be a part of the game in a live broadcast stream. If you go to unlv.hearmecheer.com, you can record your voice virtually and record your cheers and the stadium will take your cheers live on Saturday night. They'll feed actual live fan reaction, boos, cheers into the stadium so the Rebels can actually hear your voice, hear your cheers. And let me tell you, they need every single one of your cheers loud tomorrow night in Allegiant Stadium. So just another way to be a part of tomorrow night's game. We'll hear from UNR and UNLV's head coaches tonight on Fox 5. I'm Paloma Villacana, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And don't forget to join Paloma and Fox 5 this Sunday at 11.30 p.m. for Red Zone. We'll bring you the latest on all things UNLV, including exclusive interviews with players and coaches. It's every Sunday after Fox 5 News at 10. So 